Hello, and welcome to Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls. My name is Fairgreave, and this is going to be my first real series on the channel. This mod is a total overhaul mod for Seven Days to Die. There's a variety of new stuff, like uh, class system, new enemies, new weapons, a big, much further progression system, and just a big increase of difficulty all around. Hey guys, it's me in post-production here. Um, I just want to let you guys know that progressively throughout the video, the audio gets more and more out of sync with the video. Um, my audio tracks got messed up with OBS. I changed the settings so it won't happen again, but yeah, just let you guys know. Thank you. And all right, let's get started here. We're going to make a new game and we're going to go on small two because I think I've played on small one before. They're not actually that small. 8,000 by 8,000. The map is pretty big. We're going to go uh, series playthrough. Okay. So this game really ramps up the max zombies alive and um, just the overall difficulty in general. We are going to go play on warrior difficulty um, just because, I don't know, it's still adventure and no matter, a little too easy for me. Um, we're going to go on, they say recommended eight enemies on blood moons but i want to bump that up at least a little bit because it's just a little too small everything else is going to be default um airdrops every three days i want to mark airdrops though and i don't think that gives us that big of an advantage airdrops aren't even that good anyways um so yeah we will get into the game and i'll see you guys then all right here we go we got some we got a city right here actually uh, just a little welcome letter there. Alright. So first things first. Let us unpack our backpack here. And equip this. Oh. Okay. We're going to equip this smaller backpack here. And if we retab here. Okay. We have a bigger backpack now. And how the inventory system works in this game is as you construct more backpacks, you're inventory will increase in size. And the biggest thing I'd say about this mod are these classes here. So we get two class papers, so we can choose from two of these eight, I believe. Yes, eight classes in total. Um, and you're not locked to these two. As the game progresses, you can unlock all of these classes eventually. But getting all of them will be very end game, so we won't worry about that now. Um, usually I go mechanic and laborer, but for this, I think we're gonna go uh, mechanic still because you get the mini bike early and things like that. Um, and scavenger. So we're going to read both of these to unlock both classes. Now when you learn both these classes, you get these um, skill quest lines. And once you complete those, you get a couple points in the respective skill trees for each one, as well as some other things like the mechanic gives you a wrench to begin with and things like that. So I'm running the wrong way. Oh, and there's also survivors and there's also bandits that can attack you, but these guys are friendly. Okay, we are gonna get started with the essentials here. Um, oh, it's okay. To make the stone ax, you actually have to make sharp rocks like how it used to be in the old, old alphas. Yep, yeah, okay. And that was actually one of our quests. So we got a bunch of clothes here to put on. Um, I think we'll wear this. That's What's the difference between these guys. Nothing really. Can I wear that as well? No, that just replaces pants. Okay, that gives me more heat resist. I think what we have on right now is fine. I'm gonna drag this down and we're gonna head on over. Now I am gonna gather some early wood and maybe some iron and things if we find it. Okay, and now I'm gonna keep an eye on these quests. We need to get some casino tokens, which we'll just get from selling stuff to the trader. And then gather some cars with our stone axe. So, uh, this is okay, the road kind of runs by it. So we're gonna stick to the road, see if we can find a car or two. 
take that apart. Now this is my first real series on the channel. I started a couple other series and have then recently deleted those videos because I just wasn't happy with the quality. And hopefully I can start a new here. I didn't make myself a club. Uh, yeah, make. Please. We're gonna loot this place right here just because it's on our way. Nice. Okay. And like I previously stated, um, this mod has greatly increased the amount of zombies that can be spawned in at once. So it's going to get a little rough sometimes, but I mean, they're just all walkers right now, so I think we'll be fine to loot this right now. Oh, got a wrench. That's pretty good, but um, if you do select the mechanic class, you get a wrench early on anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but still nice to have either way. Got a zombie up there. Let him come down. Alright. Anything up here? Yes. Have a passing gas crate. Alright. Buy candlebars? Not bad. Alright, and another thing for this series guys, if you guys have any constructive criticism, as I've said before, this is my first series, um, or first real series, that is, um, and yeah, I can also put on a webcam, I didn't for this uh, first video, just to test things out, because I'm still learning everything, but yeah, that's definitely something I can add in the future. Take this guy out, a wood pile there, which is nice. mean to get hit there, but that's okay. I'm going to gather this real quick. Okay. Uh, what am I missing here? I have a box with nothing. Destroyed workbench. Unlucky. Um, we can actually take this apart for the materials. Alright, let's check out what is up here. If I could jump properly. Nice. Working stiff. Crates. If I could, you know, walk. That'd be great. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Okay. This time, I'm not gonna be stupid. And I'm just gonna build across. Alright, not bad. A welding torch is used for the um, metal workstation bench thing. So crafting in this mod is very expanded. There's a lot more new workbenches and a lot more new recipes. And that's one of the items to put in one of the workbenches. Like you put a hammer into a um, regular workbench that works in the metal workbench the same type of way. Do I have any feathers? I have three. Um, I think we need a bow for one of our quests anyway, so I'm going to hold off on making one. I'm not pressing the right button to get to my quest. Okay. We still need to find some gas. So hopefully we can find it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's cry right here. So I'm going to take this part. Okay. So we just hit the gas requirement. And our next one, just acquire more. And then we get a wrench after this one, which I think is a orange quality wrench, so it'll be a step above our gray here. I just now realize that I'm smacking it with a stone axe when I have a wrench already right here. Okay, so we just hit the gas requirement. And our next one, just acquire more, and then we get a wrench after this one, which I think is a orange quality wrench, so it'll be a step above our gray here. I 
I just now realize that I'm smacking it with a stone axe when I have a wrench already right here. Okay, and we completed the second one, or I think that was the third one. Um, so now we get an upgraded wrench, and then our new quest is to get a battery and an engine. So just take down some more cars. Oh, okay. Well, that was fast. Now we need, I think, okay. First we have to deal with this guy. And as you can see, there's just miscellaneous tweaks, like adding a health bar on top of all the zombies. Things like that. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, that's right. Chemical parts and electrical parts. Good thing we have pretty much everything here we can deconstruct to get this quest done. I do believe. Nice. That gives us a total of 10 electrical parts. For sure we can scrap this guy. Yep. Alright. We'll finish taking this part too. Alright. That's taken care of. Um, is there any more electrical like things? Yes, we have a light here. Alright, then we got this guy down here. Finesse him away here. Right. Give us a bang. Ooh, treasure map. What's up, man? We're gonna read this. Um, okay, that's north. Probably in that giant city we saw earlier. How many electrical parts are we at? Okay, we're right enough. We got everything. Um, and we're done. Except, we make a blunderbuss. Alright, so we need to find some duct tape. Did we find any glue yet? I don't think we have. Okay, we're going to head on to the trader now, and I'll catch you guys back when we get there. On our way, there's a lot of stumps here. I don't know if, if this is still in the um, main game, but you can get honey from the stumps. I remember it used to be this way in the main game, but I'm not sure if that's something they removed. Um, I have nothing to repair with. I need one rock. Yoink. All right, no honey there. Oh well. I guess we can take out some of these zombies for some XP. Might as well. Yeah, that gives us some food poisoning. Um, uh, nah. All right, let's take care of. And again. There is a another little tweak that they've added, if you might have noticed already. You cannot see the time on the top of our screen here. Um, there's an item you can find, just a watch, and then you can display the time like normal, but until then, we have no way of telling, except the sun, of course. Okay, looks like we're coming into a town here. Oh, we got a, a survivor here. Them out. Yeah, they tend to repeat their voice lines like over and over and over again, but that's okay. I'm gonna kill you or die trying. He he's doing his best. He's trying out here. Okay. So maybe we can loot. How? Okay, we're barely encumbered. So maybe we go to the trader. I mean, it's just right here, anyways. And then we put down some chests because you can actually destroy things, and transform the trader however you see fit in this and you can actually make it your base and they also come equipped with these guards that shoot zombies anywhere close but oh nice we've got a wolf um i don't know if they're gonna shoot the wolf or not but if you stand in line of sight with the uh armed guards and the zombies you can get shot too and die and that's not a fun way to, do, to go all right so first things first we are going to just Make chest. 
Talk to Trader. Trader's in there. Why is it telling me to go over here? All right, well, that's a bug. We'll loot this wall right here, anyways. Let's grab that. All right. Good morning to my favorite customer. Thank you. you know Nothing of interest, really. All right. Let's see if this works. Nope. We're going to collect all these blueberries as well, because why not? And I guess we'll just throw our stuff in here. We'll make this our makeshift base, kind of, for like the first couple days. I know there's a lot of other series that just transform the base in, or the trader into a base, and I kind of stray away from that and make my own. Um, but for now, it's just the safest place. As you can hear, as the guards are just destroying every zombie that comes in sight. So yeah. All right, and we have some time left. It's still pretty much midday, so we're going to go out looting and see if we can find some good things to sell the trader here. We'll start with this place across the way. We might as well. We're just right here. I'm going to repair this, actually. And we'll smash our way in. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we got sleep right here. Take him out real quick. Nice. All right. One guy's right here. Another guy out here. He's around back. We'll just take care of him right now. Oh, the wolf died. What happened? Unlucky. Oh yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, you know, that could have ended badly. Um, let's see if we get. Oh, it's just his body's broken from everybody shooting him, but. Oh well. Alright, let's see what we get in here. Steel spear, oh that's iron spear. Good to know. Don't need any of that. Water. We have a forge head. We get to read how to learn the forge here, which is nice. And also the AK schematic, which we still have to be a certain level requirement anyways to be able to craft it. Um, but it's good to have now. Because we don't get that with our class. If you select the labor class, um, I don't know if it'll list it here. Um, no, it doesn't. But you get um, the forge and the workbench unlocked. All right. Nitrate, we'll take. I'm gonna leave the flower, or whatever that it was. Two things of coffee, which is nice. Glass jars, can. More water, some iron. Ooh, got some acid. That's really nice. Because we want to make um, bikes as early as possible. Break down this guy. Nothing here except some laundry, nothing to loot. This guy's in here, so we'll help him out here. Alright, dude. Yeah, if this is too easy, I'm definitely fine with the bumping up the, di the difficulty. I guess you can't take apart that with the wrench. I just smacked it. Stuff in here, nice. Got more acid already. Uh, we won't take that. Oh, we got a pipe pistol. Okay. Another thing I think the fun pimps are adding because of this mod are the uh, pipe pistol and rifle. Next alpha, and alpha 20. For watching this in the future, they're probably already out. Um, we got a good recipe there as for the double barrel shotgun. I think this has to be read from the hot bar. Yes. We have to learn how to craft various seeds and animal coops. Nice. We will take it. Alright. Have a thing behind here. Nope. Break the sulpin. Nothing. I think we're good. Oh. I don't know where that guy is. Not bad. I'm gonna wear that. Instead of the baseball cap. 
no, not like we're better. Can I get the purse? Can I? Nice. All right. Nice. Got some money. That will help us with our 500 token goal. Nothing behind any of those. Oh, did I loot in here? I did not. Nice. We'll wear those because those are the only glasses we have for right now. Would really like some nerdy glasses initially, but we will have to make do. I think the zombie was in this room right here. Now, I don't think this is a dungeon style POI, so I don't know if there's going to be any main loot. But we will see. We'll look in every room. Crap. Here. Help her out. Then you get in the backyard anyway to try to find a rock to repair an axe. Nice. Okay. Have one right here. Okay. While we're out repairing, this guy broke through. Good timing. I'm out of stamina. Alright. Good to go. Got another pipe pistol and we got some ammo for it. Very nice. Um, this one's actually better. Does any more damage? Just has more durability. So we'll use that instead. Um, we're going to scrap this. Let's clear up our inventory a little bit for right now. Nice. Cooking pot. And some shotgun rounds and another wrench. Which doesn't matter. How much does it sell for? Not bad. We can sell those two wrenches. Thing in here. Oh, nice. Wish we had some lockpicks, but we didn't find any yet. That's not bad. But I'm going to wear that instead. Um, we'll sell it if we don't have enough from other loot to complete the quest. But for right now, we'll wear it. Um. Sure, we'll take that too. Why not? As well. All right, and we can deconstruct this bed real quick. Get some of the springs. Might as well take the lights out as well. I think these give a good amount of electrical parts. Oh, we got some better, we have a better jacket here in terms of running speed, which is really nice. And then we can just put this modifier in here to give us some heat resistance. Uh, nice. All right, then we're good to go. I think that's it for this house. Look at this. Nice, that's actually really good. That water's very good, especially that one. Um, we haven't checked the garage, so we'll do that now. I don't remember if there's a way up to the attic. Let's go. See behind me. Hello. Hello. All right, and you're dead. Nice. That's not the tool I'm selected. Okay. Perfect. Okay, there is. Nice. Um, we'll loot the stuff here. Do I have enough to make a stone shovel? Okay, so this requires small stones and not sharp rocks. Interesting. Okay, beer. Anything else of interest? Not really. Okay, we'll head up here. Okay, that's terrifying. They see the zombie in line of sight, so I'm gonna take care of him real quick. Oh, I guess I see that one. I did not mean to open chat there. Did they break through and kill the zombie? Where'd she go? Oh, I think they shot her through the window. Nice. We'll take it. Some painkillers. Not bad. And we have the stash. Very nice. Alright. Shamway box one. Got some various food items. And got some honey. Always nice. 
Main chest. Um, nothing too great. Not bad, though. We will equip this, for sure. Uh, bring this down to our hotbar. Here, we'll just take a lot of these things and put them down. Just to free up space. In our bag. So we're not as encumbered. I'll put the torch and hammer down as well. I guess we can press the sword button. Alright, good to go. We will head back to the trader now. We'll bust through here. So the structure for these videos that I really want to go for is um, one episode per day, 60 minute days, but I'm going to edit down, uh, trim the fat of each video, like harvesting things and breaking things, uh, as you've seen already, um, and hopefully come out with about 20 to 40 minute, somewhere in there roughly. My goal is 30 minutes of video, but some will be shorter, some will be longer, just depending on what we do during the day. Um, and yeah. Before we go to the trader, I want to just go around and loot everything I can within the trader uh, encampment itself. We can actually take these apart, and I'm pretty sure they give steel. Let's test that out right now, actually. Because that'd be huge. Oh, no, it's just iron. I think. Huh. I don't know why I thought those gave steel. But, oh well. Hop back over here. If I could jump. We'll just leave that there so we can get back in and out. Back home here. Let's loot up here real quick. Anything? Okay, yeah. We have this guy, which is a new NPC in this mod. Talk to him. He can also give another quest as well as the main quest. So you can have two at the same time from one trader area. And this guy only sells healing items, which is very nice for this mod especially because things get difficult. Um, and he sells these bandages for just five coins each. Which is very nice. So we'll just sell him. Oh, we can't. Okay, we have to sell at the main trader. Um, I don't want to spend anything right now, I guess. Just so we can hit that milestone for our quest and move on from that. Nice. It's nice to have early on. And yeah, okay. Sorry for my foul mood. My coffee maker's on the fritz again. Uh-huh, okay. So we'll sell everything we have here. That's worth selling. Um, do we want to sell these yet? Maybe not. Here. Thanks for I'm going to go grab the other stuff and be right back. Alright. Alright, we got some more things to sell. I think I'm going to sell these mechanical parts because they're just going to be easy to come by again. We just need to take apart a few cards. Trust me. That put us over. I'm a duck. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, charred meat. They gave us, I think, yes, they gave us some meat to cook up and some murky water to cook up as well. Um, we'll take care of that right now. I just came out here to collect some stones. We got a zombie out here real quick. Let's see if I can kill him with the torch. Bop. Nice. Easy. Elite gameplay. Oh, we got another wolf. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, boy. If I could... Okay. Well, that's scary. Actually, he's a smaller wolf, so he's not going to have that much health. So we might as well just kill him take the meat. Sorry, buddy. Alright, take that and we will make our charred meat, make a campfire here, there's a decent place I guess, good place as any, get some charred meat, I think we only need two, we have a cooking pot so I don't want to make it all charred meat because we can make better meat already. Alright, that's two charred meat done. What else do we have? Okay, so this is the big one for the scavenger class. We have to, we have to gather a lot of wood, um, which isn't going to be fun, but that is something I can do off camera uh, tonight. 
And it's looking like it's almost nighttime. Take this guy. I don't know how you got in. Oh, right back there, I guess. Can we... I put my wood away. Alright. Two wood frames here. There, there. And hammer. You, you don't upgrade with this axe in this mod. They give you hammer, which is very good, actually. It's the same as, like, the nail gun. Upgrades instantly, which is very nice. So I'm just going to upgrade those twice. Why not? And yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to eat this charred meat right now. Might as well get some hunger back. We are going to turn this off. Throw this in. Make some boiled meats. Make all we can, and then we're going to grab our murky water as well. Turn that into bottled or boiled water. There we go. Throw all the stuff we don't need in. I think we have time to go loot one more place, which might be kind of fun. Hopefully we don't get caught out by dark, um, because that gets scary really fast in this mod. I'm actually going to go buy some healing items really quickly. So we're going to do get these sterile bandages, which I think these are unique to the mod, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you come back they heal 15 time. each. So we'll slap one on now. We have enough, so. Um, let's just do a close by place. We can head over here. Oh dang, this town's actually huge. Let's do this over here. Not the big place. This one. I think that's a hospital. If I'm not wrong. I could be dumb. Okay, this is the funeral home. So, not bad to get pretty early. Alright. There's that. Oh, I'm out of stamina. This is getting pretty late. I hope we have time to go through this place. If not, that's okay. Also, when you loot cars, and I think bikes as well in this game, you get a chance to set off the alarm, which isn't fun. Um, and that attracts zombies. I've got a fire axe, which is nice. Take this guy out real quick. Cornbread. Nothing. Nothing. Don't want that. Alright. Cool. Oh, that's the Shamway Foods. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that's nice to have. We're not going to go through that uh, anytime soon. Um, we're just not prepared. But that's okay. Actually, I want to take apart some cars real quick. So we can get some good amount of materials. Oh, alright. We got another wolf on us. Is it a big one? Nope. It's a small one. We'll take care of him pretty easily. He's running, so I guess we're gonna reload real quick. I don't know why he ran from me. Where'd you go, dude? There he is. Get him. Well, heck. Seems there's no range. Yeah, we're out of range. That's fine. We'll let him go. Can I get Sam back, please? Thank you. Nice. Uh, that doesn't sell for very much. We will leave it. Take care of these zombies. Oh. Oh, you're back. Sup. Oh. And of course, right when I run out of ammo. Nice. Nice. Later, dude.
take this guy apart. All right. All right. That's probably enough exploring. Um, it's getting late, and during the night, it's scary, first of all, to go out at night. Um, in this biome, it's not as bad. If you go into, like, the burnt biomes um, and the wasteland and things, bad things start coming out. Um, I think it's really scary. Got another wolf here. See if we can take him out with double damage. Headshot. Nice. This got a good amount of meat early on. Alright, made it home. We are pretty low on food. Which is not ideal, but let's head over to the vending machine, see what they have. Actually, not a bad amount of stuff. So we're going to get some chili here. And as you can see in this mod, the canned things have food poisoning chances. So to fix that, you need to cook it. You can make a um, pot of cooked chili, for example, like what I bought here. We need some clay bowls. I don't think I got any clay yet. Um, no, I haven't. I'm just got in the rocks. So we'll make that first thing next episode. Okay. First of all, more dudes came in. And I think this actually does more than my club. All right, 14. 15, yeah. So we'll use this instead until we get a better weapon. Um, I'm going to patch some holes up because I don't know how these guys are getting in. That guy's breaking through there. How that lady get in? I'm so confused. Did I leave the door open? No. Okay, we'll take care of this guy real quick. Nice. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, see? We got a radiated zombie already. Night one. So the difficulty jumps up right as night switches over. Yeah, we got another survivor out there. But yeah, that's going to be it for this first episode. Can, can, can you please... Bro, where'd you come from? Okay. 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 I don't think I have ammo. I have one. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh yeah, alright. Here we go. That's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do... Turn down the volume. I already turned down the volume for you guys, but for me, I can't even think. Hi, it's me in post again. Again, sorry. I didn't actually turn the audio down for you guys because I couldn't because the audio tracks got merged together and I couldn't separate them. Like I said previously, that's what's causing the out of sync bug. So, yeah. Sorry. So, we're going to kite these guys around and do our best to not die. We're gonna kite these in front of the guards. Hello? Can you shoot them, please? Thank you. Alright, did we track anything else? Well, that was terrifying. I don't know how they were able to get so close. Okay. Well, yeah, that was day one. We're going to patch this place up real quick. Do I have any more frames? No. Uh, hammer. Alright. This is me from the future again. Um, my outro got cut off as well. For some reason. I don't know. I had a lot of troubles with this editing and audios and everything. So I apologize. I know there's some rough edits, rough cuts, audios, out of whack, everything. But I just want to say thank you for getting to the end of the video. And I appreciate you guys watching. And if you could, hit the like button. I know it's such, it's such a cliche now. Everybody asks for and stuff. But I'm brand new at this. And it just, it'd mean a lot. If you enjoyed it, that is. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Don't just 
inflate the like button just to inflate it. Leave a comment with any constructive criticism, please. Um, I really appreciate it. So, yeah, and subscribe if you want to keep watching the series. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. That should be up in two to three days if you're watching it the day this came out. But, yeah, if not, it'll be up on my channel. Nice. Bye. <laughs>